Hey seconds. So today we're looking at m to the third power measures 27 through 43. There's a lot of weird stuff happening in this. So we're just going to jump right in. Now looking at measure 27, we have that three, four bar. And the first thing we have to think about is what key are we in? We are not in D major. We are not in G major. We're not in any kind of major. We're in D minor here. Uh, what D minor means is that we have no sharps in one flat, which is B flat. So when I'm looking at measure 27 and I see D down to B, I have to think I'm best gonna play it with a B flat. That was a weird sentence I just said. We're gonna play that with a B flat. So I have three down to low one. That B flat's a low one on the A string. So in measure 27, I have a yellow pattern where my first finger's starting behind the tape. That's how it should sound. We'd like to play it like this which sounds way too happy for what we're doing. So keep that nice extended finger shape. And then after that, we have three, low two, one. We're just keeping that yellow pattern going, three, two, one. With a nice slur in there. After that, we have measure 29, which we're gonna play a low two to open because it's just our C natural, which we know to play with a low two. So that measure, And then the next one's two, low one, open, which I did not play right the first time. So even I make those mistakes, but we have to keep moving forward, be better than our mistakes. So, so far, what we have is this. And then we have uh, B flat to G. This is where it gets a little bit dicey because we now have string crossings. So we're gonna keep that low one on the A string and then third finger G. Then I'm just gonna keep bouncing back and forth. All right. And then the next measures, uh, we have some stuff in three eight, which is not super bad, but we just have to think about the patterns that we're using because we're going ba da 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 da. So kind of like an up to back one. So starting in measure thirty two. We have that low one, open, G. So down, up. And then we start in 33 with our patterns of three. So we're going low two, three, open. Uh, then we have a little bit different here. We're gonna go E, F, G. So one, low two, three. Then we have low two, three, four. And then uh, four, three, four. Now the reason I'm playing that as a fourth finger and not open is to get rid of a weird string crossing. When we get this up to speed, it's gonna be really hard to control our bow if it's just bouncing all over the place going between strings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep everything on one string there. So in measure 33, what I have is this. And I told you to play an open A in measure 33. I changed my mind, fourth finger. So fourth finger from 33 to 36, it's gonna stay that way. All right, next moving on to 37, it's the same kind of style as 27, but it's different notes. So this time we have that low two open on the D string for that first uh, measure. And then we have two one open on the three eight measure. And then we have some string crossing again. We have first finger, uh, first tape on the A or D string, and then three on the G string. And then we have one open three. And then we're gonna go fourth finger to low two here on the G string. We are now in measure 30, no 40. We're in measure 41 now, 41. or I'm sorry, four, two. And then we have four, three, two. And then this last note we're gonna play is just a first finger A. All right, so starting at 37, this is what I have. So again, playing that with a fourth finger, pretty much there are no open strings during this. There's maybe one or two, but 
When in doubt, assume fourth finger. All right, as always, if you have any questions, let me know.